on on the inside. Lalouche and Microcosm setting a very fast pace from prepaid in third. Then comes Carmenetta and Indian Skimmer with Mies close to her. Behind them come prepaid and then River Memories and Birthday Fever. And these two pacemakers, Lalouche and Microcosm, setting a very fast gallop indeed. Lalouche by a couple of lengths from Microcosm. A gap of six lengths then to Indian Skimmer, who's in third, then prepaid on the inside. Then Mies, who's taken a pretty strong hold on the inner. Then Birthday Fever on the outside. And behind them come Carmenetta. Nazmuda is one of the back markers at the moment as they race over past the stables. It's Lalouche in the lead from Microcosm. Indian Skimmer has now gone third, then prepaid and birthday fever. Behind them come Miesk and there's Masmuda who's made progress. Grecian Earn and Bintel Nasser are the back markers and Lalouche with a four length advantage over Microcosm. A gap then to Indian Skimmer in third, prepaid next, then birthday fever. Behind birthday fever comes Miesk and Masmuda and then Grecian Earn and River Memories and the back marker is Carmonetta and still Lalouche unbeaten in three races in the lead from her stable companion Indian Skimmer going well in second then making ground on the outside is Birthday Fever behind them prepaid then comes Mies waiting to unleash a run they're running the home turn with three furlongs left to run and Lalouche still in the lead from in second place Indian Skimmer then comes Birthday Fever Mies coming there towards the stand side towards the right of the picture that is Coming down to the two furlong pole, and Indian Skimmer has come to tackle Lalouche. Miesk is being chased along by Freddy Head. Bintel Massa is coming there on the stand side with Masmuda, but Indian Skimmer has sprinted into the lead, and it's surely an unassailable lead. Indian Skimmer is sprinting away from Pierre Gandalf, Bintel Massa, and Masmuda as they race up towards the line. Indian Skimmer's going to win in tremendous style. Indian Skimmer is the winner at the line. Miesk is second, Masmuda. In third and fourth came Bintel Nasser and behind Bintel Nasser was River Memories and looking right. Curio is in, signal given, the hood is off and they're racing in the champion stakes with uh, Indian Skimmer breaking smartly, trusted partner on her inside, Galitzin right up there towards the outer with Shady Heights and just in behind these is Lord Bud as they head up the course and it's Indian Skimmer on the inside, Shady Heights on the outer between horses is Galitzin, four is Triptych, behind Triptych Lord Bud and then comes Fair Judgment, they're followed by Persian Heights and behind Persian Heights is trusted partner and then Curio. They're nearing the top left-hand turn, and Galitzin and Brian Rouse on the inside, Shady Heights on the outer, Indian Skimmer a length off them, Lord Bud four, Fair Judgment five, and they're followed by Persian Heights as they go into the turn across the top of the course. Galitzin is the leader by about half a length from Shady Heights in second, a length back to Indian Skimmer the grade, two lengths then to Lord Bud as they make the bend into the straight, Persian Heights going very smoothly on the outside. They're turning in now towards the uh, straight, and as they do so, it's still Galitzin the leader from uh, Shady Heights in second place. Indian Skimmer a couple of lengths back. Behind Indian Skimmer is Lord Bud, and they're straightening up with uh, just over half a mile to cover. And it's Galitzin the leader with uh, Shady Heights in second, Indian Skimmer three. They're followed by Persian Heights on the inside is Lord Bud. Just behind these is Curio, trusted partners on the outside of Fair Judgment, and Triptych has dropped back to be last. Racing now towards the three marker, and it's uh, Galitzin on the inside from Shady Heights in the nose band, Indian Skimmer. Then Lord Bud, just in behind these is Fair Judgment. They've two and a half furlongs to race in the Phoenix Champion Stakes, and Indian Skimmer rages up on the outside to take it up. Indian Skimmer goes for home, chased by Persian Heights coming there on the outside. Then Shady Heights in three, Galitzin four, Fair Judgment five. Here comes Triptych with a strong run, but it's Indian Skimmer the leader as they race into the final furlong from Shady Heights on the inside, trying to rally Persian Heights three. Triptych's coming home really well on the outside. Indian Skimmer is the leader from Shady Heights and Triptych is bearing down on them as they race to the line. Indian Skimmer the leader, pushed out by Michael Roberts. She's going to win it. Indian Skimmer wins it for Henry Cecil. Shady Heights is second. Triptych is three. Close for fourth between Persian Heights and Lord Bud. Then Fair Judgment. Trusted partner behind Trusted Partner Galitzin and Fire. Feinfeld into Stall's entry on the right, Persis Lass, but that's it. And Persis Lass again has refused to start. In fact, she's going now but only just, so to all intents and purposes, it's a four-horse race, and they've only covered half a furlong. 
So Percy's last then out of it, and up front the early leader is Shady Heights in that dark blue jacket, yellow hoop sleeves. They've come a furlong now. Indian Skimmer the Grey in second place. Then in the blue and yellow diamonds, yellow sleeves. That's Persian Heights in three. Doyoon, the 2,000 guineas winner in the green jacket, red epaulets is fourth. And Percy's last is now racing, but she's a good hundred yards behind the principals, who've now covered the first quarter of a mile of this Group One Dubai Champion Stakes. And still making the running is Shady Heights under Willie Carson, leading by a length and a half from Indian Skimmer and not much pace on early with Shady Heights having completed three furlongs now Indian Skimmer and Michael Roberts in second Persian Heights held up just in behind them with Bruce Raymond still in fourth place is Doyoon and Walter Swinburne and out of your picture still the outside of Percy's Lass and Paul Eddery now they're racing down towards the final five furlongs which will be the halfway point of the champion stakes and Shady Heights continuing to set it but at no great gallop from the odds on favorite Indian Skimmer bidding for her hat trick in second place after these two Doyoon getting a bit closer just behind Persian Heights still last of the quintet is Percy's last and it's now time to rejoin Graham Good and the pace really has been quite slow through the first half of this Dubai champion stakes but it's Shady Heights that leads from the favorite Indian skimmer in second Persian Heights is third Doyoon a slow early pace will suit him if he's got finishing speed they've got just over three to go that's Indian skimmer in second place tracking Shady Heights who goes to home for Willie Carson they pass the bushes Doyoon is getting closer Persian Heights is now out of it and Percy's Lass is only six lengths behind them now they go past the two furlong ball and Indian skimmer now kicks and quickens up Doyoon on the far side Persian Heights in second place now they race down into the gym an Indian skimmer has quickly gone clear, asserted all authority on this race. They're inside the final furlong, and it's Indian skimmer by four to five lengths. Persian Heights is second. Indian skimmer's going to win this for Sheikh Mohammed up towards the line. Indian skimmer wins it very impressively. Persian Heights is second, Doyoon third, Shady Heights is four, and Percy's Lass is back in fifth. And so the result of this Dubai champion stakes, sponsored by the Maktoum family, the ruling family of Dubai, well, they've won their own money back because Indian skimmer owned by Sheikh Mohammed has won at 15 to 8 on.